Can you tell the difference between a common and obtuse railway crossing? No? Then keep watching. Welcome to this video from the P-Way Engineer. In this video we will explain the difference between the two types of crossings used in railway junctions. By the end of this video, you will be able to identify why a common crossing is also referred to as an acute crossing easily spot the characteristics of a common crossing understand the origin of the name obtuse crossing and finally recognize the type of railway junction where obtuse crossings are typically found we would love to hear your thoughts and answer any questions you may have in the comments section below additionally we're eager to learn about the names used for different crossing types in your region Share your knowledge with us and help expand our understanding of railway crossings across the world. Now that you know what to expect from this video, let's dive into the differences between common and obtuse railway crossings. Crossings fall into two design types. Common and obtuse. It is important to be able to tell the difference between the two. Let's take a look at the first crossing type, common crossings. Common crossings get their name from the fact that they appear in all types of S and C layouts. They are also known as acute crossings. This is because, if we were to draw two lines, one on each rail a train could be taking, like the ones here in red, they form an acute angle. An easy way to spot a common crossing, is that they have one nose. Next up is the obtuse crossing. Obtuse crossings appear in one place, as part of a fixed diamond layout. This is found when one line is crossing another. It is formed of two obtuse crossings and two common crossings in, yes you guessed it, the diamond shape. Obtuse crossings always appear in pairs, sitting opposite each other in track. Similar to the acute crossing, the obtuse crossings get their name from the fact that the lines drawn, representing the rails a train would travel on, form an obtuse angle. Obtuse are also distinctive from common crossing as they have two crossing noses. Rather than Vs, they have point rails. This is because the nose is formed from one rail. It is pretty common to see an obtuse crossings with an integrated check rail. This is because the crossings are directly opposite each other, so there is nowhere to mount a check rail conventionally. This is known as a raised check. We hope you found this video informative and helpful in understanding the differences between common and obtuse railway crossings. If you have any further questions or would like to share your own experiences, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more railway engineering content.